this earlier, but that you were just getting started too, right? It, it feels that way. I, you know, what, what's interesting is that the amount of tuning available is quite extraordinary. Um, you know, if we gave ourselves a scorecard, um, I don't think that we've quite hit the mark in the way that we're serving up um, uh, advertising at the moment. Um, so the mechanisms available to fine tune the kind of adverts that would uh, entice somebody to click to learn more and click into a messenger experience um, is pretty exciting. So I feel that we can achieve more optimization in that, in that respect. Um, and also, we're, we're only just beginning to learn how people like to move between um, a chatbot experience and a human experience. And I should sort of take a step back at this moment and say that T-Mobile's stance is that you should be able to reach a human being at any time uh, within the conversation. Um, and the reason for that is that uh, you know, a wireless relationship is a really complex and difficult one. And when you think about the sort of the hierarchy of purchasing things, you know, if you're going to buy some batteries from Amazon, it's a fairly easy decision to make. It's a one-click purchase. When you're entering into a wireless relationship with a carrier, there's a lot that will go through your mind. It's very hard to get transparency on what one's offering versus another. And in our path to radical simplicity, um, we felt that putting humans into the experience at some point in time has been um, the better thing to do for our customers. So retail has traditionally been the better environment to finish the conversation. Now, what we've seen by introducing the chatbot is that customers are very happy to do the shopping um, uh, in a more automated way. Um, but by the time that it comes to perhaps checking credit or understanding financing, that's when we switch seamlessly into a human being carrying the conversation. And that's been carrying the customers over the line with a seven times increase that we've seen in the web experience. Yeah, that's amazing. Seven times. Good. <laughs> uh, and Chris, I think you have uh, a different approach, right? Because in the case of T-Mobile and what you guys have built, you want to get people to sign up. Uh, for a plan, by devices, um, and in your case, like there are transactional capabilities built into your experience, uh, but that's kind of a secondary goal, I think, you'll, like, and, and you've uh, been able to reach an audience that you weren't able to reach previously. Do you want to share a little bit more about that? Sure, so from an acquisition standpoint, we saw that 75% of the people that were coming through are brand new, which is really, really exciting to us, because in a market that is, um, in some ways, a sea of, of sameness, frankly, um, how do you really start to break through? And it goes back to your point earlier, which is being where we know they're already spending the majority of their time. So that metric was really exciting. On um, the second hand, the other piece that was fascinating to us is that over 60% of people who are engaging with that bot, with our bot, um, are men. And that's a, a tough and elusive target when you're 15 to 25. So that was great. And I, I think, you know, going back to my point earlier on the engagement piece, it was important for us to get the right content baked in, drive that engagement, and then step two would be to look at how we improve conversion. So I, I think we've done a great job on the content side. I talked about the gift guide. Uh, we, we recently launched something for back to school where you can actually meet the cast. So if you're one of those men, 15 to 25, who's coming in the door, and let's say you've taken a style quiz um, as you're chatting, we know that you're a man, we know you like a particular style, well then immediately you can meet the cast of our current campaign. So that might be serving up Joey Badass, for example, if you're that particular style, it might be serving up Brandon Ingram or one of the others. And it's not just him, it's not just the campaign video that stars him, but it's his picks. So we worked with that talent to go in and, and accessorize, frankly, different looks. So having that one-on-one, -on -one, again, style advice has really made for great engagement around that content. And now, as we've talked about quite a bit, step two, because so much of this has been organic growth and organic engagement, how do we start to use the power that is the performance marketing side of the house to put in that data, that rigor, and that science behind it to actually drive the conversion? Yeah. 